hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening okay let's get into the topic so we are going to start our uh, interview questions with answers so in the previous video what i have explained i have explained the questions regarding which is asked in the excel services excel services company so let's get into the first question here okay the question here which they have asked imagine a single column in a table that is populated with either single digit or single character write a sql query to print fees for numeric value or bus for alphabetical value for all values in that column so now let's get into this okay so first thing is if you try to understand this right first prepare the data for this okay let's prepare this data i have already prepared it and now you can see here so here you can see the data is available with us now next thing is okay whenever you have a question like this right try to understand what exactly they are asking if it is a numeric value print phase if it is alphabetical value then print buzz so here directly what which concept we can take we can take the case case concept case concept nothing but a case statement we can use it here case statement okay that is the first thing case how it works basically whenever you are using the key if else kind of clause if this particular condition is matching then it is going to work like this if this particular can, uh, condition is matched then go ahead and print like this so case when okay when column equals to value okay then then print column okay just give me then column or value custom value you can you can print it okay you can print it here custom value custom means whatever the you wanted to print again another condition same thing okay same thing you how many number of conditions you wanted to put it you can put it here okay this is the condition okay next thing is else if these conditions are not matching some default value should be there right either you can give column name okay column value same whatever the column or any custom value you can give it custom value you can give it end okay you have to end the case statement okay this is the way case condition it works so <laughs> let me go with one by one so first is consider it let me make it very simple case when id equals to okay id equals to nothing but a 10 then populate as either with the column name or custom value again here id equals to okay just i'm assuming okay i'm, I'm making you to assume okay here id equals to 10 20 either you can populate the column or thing if none of the thing are there then print it as some default value default value this is the one of the statement which we are going to use as part of the as part of this particular this particular solution next thing is regular expression like operator like function like function we are going to use it first of all what is this regular expression like okay how many parameters it is going to take okay try to understand it is taking source string okay source string and second is it is going to take pattern okay which pattern whatever the pattern you wanted to test up that is the thing and matching parameter matching parameter it is going to take it is going to take now let's go with the our our thing it's nothing but a source string is nothing but a the column name you can give column name okay column name or value custom value if you it is a single row like if you are using dual table then you can use the single column value and pattern is nothing but a suppose you wanted to match alphabets then you can go ahead and you can give like this a comma z a comma smaller a okay this is the way you can give the pattern you can give the pattern if it is a numeric you can give it as a pattern like this okay you can give it as a pattern like this and matching parameter is nothing but a suppose if you have a case sensitive okay you can if you wanted to check it out case sensitive then you can go ahead and you can use the you can use one parameter nothing but a, there are three parameters as part of this one is okay case insensitive i is nothing but a case insensitive another one is nothing but a c c is nothing but a case sensitive case sensitive and another one is n n it treats okay n it treats as nothing but a it is going to treat source string into multiple rows by providing the by providing the 
end of the line end of the line but this doesn't work it's not required right now okay in future if you have any complex problem with regular expression you can use this n as well now let's get into the solution okay let's get into the solution how you can write it up this okay let me comment it out so how you can comment out at all multiple rows simply what you can do you here if you wanted to comment okay you can use this particular things okay if you wanted to comment multiple lines in sql okay single line you can use the okay double this one okay this operator if it is a multi line just you can do one thing okay simply you can use you can open the star and then just just one minute here what you are doing here you are doing this okay nothing but a slash star okay and slash star in between whatever the values are there everything going to be commented out if it is single line then you can use the hyphen hyphen but multiple hyphens if you use automatically it will go the that particular record that particular row going to be commented out in sql now let's get into solution okay let's get into solution here select okay first is select okay let's print the see here i have printed select first thing is let me print the same column as is as is here next thing is okay case okay case now what you are going to check it out what you are going to check it out here you are checking the here you are checking the what you are checking this particular char value equals to number number or it is a string you are checking it out so what you have to do case when okay when okay regular exp regular exp nothing but a regular expression like okay then what is the thing which i mentioned here so whenever you have to mention source string nothing but a column name what is the column name char values char values here what you have to check it out what you have to check it out you have to check it out the pattern you have to check it out the pattern what is that pattern you have to use okay there are two patterns one is numeric pattern another is another is alphabetical pattern so now what you can check it out simply you can go ahead and you can give it because it is a string value it is a string value just you can go ahead and you can give it okay starting symbol starting symbol and within that brackets you can give it as 0 to 9 and close and make it, it as a end end is nothing but a dollar dollar in regular expression starting is nothing but a, that symbol and dollar is the end symbol and then what you have to do you have to go ahead and you have to print right this particular thing you have to close right regular expression then this particular thing what it does it is going to give you the true or false true or false if it is a true then it is going to print as a then condition if it is a false then it is going to give you the it is going to give you the it is not going to print anything okay so now what you have to print if it is a numerical value just to print it as f y z z okay and next thing again case condition again when condition let me keep it into next line so that it will be easy for you so this is the one condition again let me copy paste this to save the time so here char values again what you have to do here you have to do what is the pattern a to z okay smaller a smaller z then what is the thing which you have to do buzz okay b u b u z z okay then else okay else print it out same char values okay as is okay and end as char just keep it as okay custom custom output okay custom output simply you can pass it as a custom output from which table sample data sample data so this is the way you have to execute it you have to execute it now you can see right wherever the characters are there just you can see buzz wherever the numbers are there buzz okay same thing with this okay so this is the way you have to learn first you whenever you are going ahead and you are going to understand right so which concept i have to use where okay so here you have to use the case statement as well as regular expression like function regular expression like function that's it guys tomorrow i'm going to come up with another video thank you guys